Culture. Hello and welcome to my channel, Wheelie Bra. My name's Helen. I'm an ambulatory wheelchair user sharing my travel adventures from all around Scotland. I have three awesome sidekicks, my wife Kirsty and my two dogs, Millie and Kimber. Those of you who saw my last video all about South Uist and Eris scale know that I was planning on doing a similar video about North Uist, but looking back through the footage, it is absolutely awful. It was just so, so windy. So the camera's wobbly, the sound's just blown out. Um, so I salvaged what footage I can <laughs> and decided to do a little rundown of what happened while we were there. Why are my glasses steaming up? It's not even, it's not even that warm in here. I don't understand. Ugh. Let's just take those off. I'm also gonna share one of my top travel tips, which is particularly useful when traveling remote places like the Highlands of Islands. First off, we took the west coast, driving north, and I was really keen to get to some beaches. And the beaches in North Uist really didn't disappoint. We're talking beautiful white sand, turquoise water, uber dramatic sky. The first one that we found actually was just down a random track. We'd been driving along and could see the, the coast there on our left hand side. And we saw a little track that went through some fields. So um, off we went. And we could drive right down to the end and uh, I couldn't get on the beach there, but again, it was quite close and you're still getting that kind of vibe. Um, and it was a really, really beautiful spot just to sit for a wee while before we headed off um, again along that west coast, heading up further north. I love taking random turn offs and just seeing where we end up. So this first beach that we got to um, was one of those magical random turn offs. It's just straight off the A865. Um, yes. A865, 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 road numbers are a mystery to me. I am going to put the details of all of these locations down in the description box, so don't worry about that. Our next stop was what Kirsty and I now refer to as the Amazing Beach, because it was just utterly stunning. So again, it was another magical mystery tour. We were head just heading towards turquoise water that we could see in the distance, and we ended up um, just past Griminish and there's a little harbour bit that you can drive down. There's loads of lobster crates. You can park up there and either wheel or walk just around the corner. What's going on with all my hair here? I'm growing out an undercut. It's a bit weird. Just this absolutely breathtaking beach is revealed to you. Oh my God, it is just incredible. I, I genuinely gasped. Shortly after that spot, we found another little stunning bit of beach. We parked up in this little sandy parking area. I could get on my tri ride and go down this concrete boat ramp and get onto straight onto firm packed sand, which, you know, if you ever try to get on beaches in your wheelchair, you will know that that is the sweet stuff. So I got down and the water was right in as well, which was just fab. Had a little bit of a paddle. So that was one of my, <gasps> I'm cured moments. Thankfully there was nobody around to look at me weird when I stood up out of my chair like they do in the supermarket. Back in the car and just around the corner from that is Malaklitch Beach and there there's a couple of gates so Kirsty got the gates while I drove through and you can drive you can drive right onto the marker on the sandy track that eventually turns grassy. It's another one where you can't actually get down to the sand but you can sit up there on the marker I don't know, get your picnic chairs out, get your feet up. We then took a slow drive back down the east coast to Loch Maddy where we stopped again and it's another lovely little harbour bit with a shipwreck. It's not a shipwreck, it's just an old ship. It's not even a ship, it's a boat. It's an old boat, Kirsty likes old boats. So we stopped to have a look there. Um, Kirsty risked life and limb to get into the water and find me a shell. So at Loch Maddy as well, there's also Tai Khersteberg. Tai Khersteberg is a museum and heritage center. And they also have a toilet. Can't beat it. By that time, I was absolutely exhausted. So we just headed right back to Bimbecula, taking in some of the views as we were driving along. Um, there's just never a dull moment while driving along in the Outer Hebrides. Everything, everything is just beautiful. Now it's time for my top travel tip. 
it's really hard in rural Scotland, Highlands and Islands in particular, to find out exactly where you need to be. Um, postcodes and street addresses aren't always accurate, so I use an app called What Three Words. What Three Words is fantastic. The developers have divided the world into three metre squares, and each of those squares has a unique three word name. So I'm gonna show you now um, how I do it. I'm doing it here on my laptop, but I would recommend downloading the app so you have it with you on the go. Here we have what three words up on the laptop and you can see up here, we have an address which is Arrow Sends Shimmered. Now that is the address for amazing beach, but not just the beach, literally the spot that I stood in looking out over that incredible view. As you can see, a street address isn't gonna get you here, a postcode's not gonna get you here, but what three words can. So I can go here, click navigate, and choose to navigate using Google Maps or any other map app that you prefer. And when we zoom right in, you can see that Google Maps is taking you to that exact spot. What I would also highly recommend doing is making sure you click save to save this location to your favorites. That way it's easy to access. And then even if you don't have internet, you can still navigate. All you have to do is download a Google map of the area you're traveling to for offline use, which you can do on your Google maps app and then come into what three words, click navigate and it'll navigate just the same. If you'd like me to do a more in-depth tutorial about what three words or about using Google Maps offline, let me know. I can film a quick video um, for you about that. Right. So that is that. That's our adventure. Next up, we went to Harris and Lewis. So you can expect that video. I'm really, really hoping the footage is decent and I can actually just do a proper travel vlog rather than just yapping at you. So yeah, please do stay tuned for that. Um, if you haven't seen our South Fierce and Eriskir video, go watch that now. We'll see you soon.